Amigos de Metro, nos encontramos ante una leyenda con quien tuve el placer de hablar largo y tendido sobre su trayectoria y hasta de janguear con él durante el Puerto Rico Film Festival. El actor con quien todos han trabajado, o decimos artistas grandes, pero más grande eres tú, eres, es él porque ha trabajado con todos ellos. Así que Luis Guzmán, gracias, thank you for giving me the time to talk to you about this incredible, awesome project, um, Story Avenue, uh, officially. I remember that during the, the festival, you couldn't talk about much about it for uh, because of the of the uh, strike, the actual strike. So uh, first, let me start by asking you, how do you how, how was your time in Puerto Rico when you came and when when are you planning to to come back? Um, well, I had a wonderful time. I always have a great time when I go to Mila. Um, the film festival was wonderful. I think uh, it. Like I said, everybody really loves Story Avenue. Uh, I was so proud of it. Um, and more than anything, I was so proud that I could show that film to our people there, you know, because um, uh, I, I believe that our island is just full of so much talent and stuff. And given the opportunity and the support, we can further make more movies, you know, of this stature. Este, y, Um, I don't know when I'm going to go back, but I'll tell you what, when it gets cold here, I'm heading over there. <laughs> so, más seguro. Te, te esperamos con los brazos abiertos, como siempre. Thank you for that. Um, vamos a ir desde el español e inglés, como tú te sientas más cómodo. Um, t tell me about Story Avenue, because the, the, the last time we talked, we focused on your career. Um, so what is it about? And, and why do you think people should run to the theaters this weekend to, to see it? Well, you know, First of all, it's 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 a story about it's a story about having faith and healing. Mm -hmm. It's about growth. It's about how people deal with their pain. Mm -hmm. You know, this is not your typical urban kind of movie. Mm -hmm. This is not bang bang shoot 'em up, you know. And at the, uh, but this is about this is about this is about people. That try to help each other mm -hmm. through their emotional pain. Um, I believe I, I know that Story Avenue was was beautifully written and directed by Aristotle Torres, um, Asante. Mm -hmm. You know, was amazing as Kadir. You know, he put his all into it. At the uh, I'm proud to have had the opportunity to work with because mm -hmm. again, this is a really special story. You know, this is about this is about a young man that's trying to find his way and 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 you know, things ain't going well for him. And for a lot of young people, when things ain't going well at home, mm -hmm. they try to find that family outside the home. And sometimes those families that you find outside the home, sometimes, not all the time, but sometimes are not the best influences, you know? Mm -hmm. um, so. uh -huh. And he finds me, and we know how he finds me. I don't want to give the story away, <laughs> but I challenge him. Okay. I say, you know, do what you're going to do, kid. Yep. And and then, um, and then, like I said, I take him on. But I take him on in, in the way that's totally unexpect unexpected, you know, um, uh, I become his mentor, you know, and I just want to nurture this kid because in my own right, I have my own pain and mm -hmm. my own suffering that I'm going through. And he helps me with that. Okay. So um, um, the, does your character, Luis, uh, looks like someone, you know, is he, is he like someone uh, close to you? Because you told, you told me during, during the conversation that your, your, your beginnings were as a social worker, worker wor working with, with young people specifically. So, Do you use your knowledge, uh, your experience as a social worker to create your character? Um, yeah, somewhat. You know, I, I I think that because of the way the story is, it allowed me the opportunity to use some of those skills. Mm -hmm. You know, because my job as a social worker back then was nurturing young people mm -hmm. and having them take charge of their lives, you know, mm -hmm. and... and uh, You know, in, in this situation, I was help, trying to help this young man take charge of his life, too. And 
and just guide him the right way, you know? Yeah. Um, so, yeah, I mean, like I said, I mean, listen, I was social worker for a few years in New York City at Henry Street Settlement. Um, and um, best job I ever had because I was helping people to help themselves. Mm hmm Again, about uh, the best job you had, uh, how, how rewarding is that from, from a, a producer's standpoint, how, how, how rewarding it is to work on a, on, on a film that has so, so many powerful messages, many powerful themes, uh, and that has been so well received by, by the critics and by the public. Wow, listen, I'm over the moon because we have gotten from very good to great reviews on this film. Um, I'm very proud of it, very proud of the the whole team that came together to make this movie happen. I'm proud of Aristotle Torres for writing it. Mm -hmm. I'm extremely proud of my cast, you know. I'm proud proud of some of one of our producing partners, Metal Metal, um, Martin Cabrera, um, Robert Aguilar, and to my son, Semi mm -hmm. Guzman, who helped me to executive produce this movie. Um, and, and listen, man, the crew, mm -hmm. you know, this, 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 this is a little movie, you know, that was like, we, the only luxury that we had was showing up every day. You know, we didn't have trailers. We didn't have big time caterers. We, you know, we did with what we had. And in knowing that and knowing the kind of movie that we came out with, man, I couldn't have been prouder of everyone involved, you know, and and I just want to thank all the all the critics out there, you know, for really seeing this movie for what it is. Exactly. You know, because you know, I didn't do this movie to to compete with other stories and stuff. This movie stands alone, you know, and it's a beautiful movie. It's a beautiful story. It's a beautiful relationship. Mm -hmm. It's painful. It's happy. Yeah. It's It's, it's courage, you know, it's taking on the challenges, um, you know, and and kind of coming coming away with like all the lessons, man. All mm -hmm. the because there's so many lessons in this story. Yeah. yeah. And and mm -hmm. and one of those lessons is don't give up. Don't give up on yourself. You know? And mm -hmm. if somebody's mentoring you. And somebody takes you in, you know. Please understand that those are opportunities that sometimes don't come along all the time for people. Uh, when when you read the script, when you had the script in your hands, did your character Luis have all, have all this Puerto Rican flavor? Um, uh, because from the music that there's just this beautiful sequence where you are cooking. Uh, like I I think it's carne guisada. I saw some rice there. Carne guisada, pastele, arroz pastele. con maíz. <laughs> Yeah, so, so, how was that on the script or you just used that? No, no, that was totally that in the flavor. script. Oh, really? By Aristotle? That was totally in the script because, you know, fíjate que I'm there to take care of this young man. Sabe? Um, you, you know the story. Uh -huh. You know that, that I actually had lost my son. And he kind of filled the void for me. And I always loved cooking for my son. I always love encouraging him to do stuff, you know, and this young man was helping me through through my own grief and through my own pain, just like I was helping him through it through his own grief mm -hmm. and his own pain. And like, you know, que boricua no cocina, por favor. <laughs> que, que, que boricua no le gusta estar en la cocina cocinando, compartiendo. That's what I did, you know. That's yeah, yeah. that that for me was huge because mm -hmm. that's what we are man we share yeah. you know we take care of each other yeah that that was a beautiful scene uh so when we spoke last month i remember that you mentioned that you had you have you had uh, faced so many obstacles uh to achieving uh distribution agreements for this for this film especially with streaming platforms so now, now what what has happened from that time So today, one month ago uh, at least it is premiering now in puerto rico uh, uh soon so What is going well, on? No, we, we're dealing with a company called Kino Laber. Mm -hmm. uh, I just found out today that we got expanded to five more cities. 
you know, hey, man, awesome. it's a blessing, awesome, you know? when you see more. and uh, hopefully we'll be expanding to more. You know, this is this is an important movie. Yeah. It's an important movie because, coño, man, it's like, you know, we need to show more, more type of these stories, you know, mm-hmm. yeah. and, and it goes to show like, you know, studios didn't even support us, you know, the big, you know, it's like, or your film is too small for us, mm-hmm. you know? But they missed it. They missed it. They missed it because this movie has an incredible heart. And when you have a movie with this kind of heart, man, it's like, you know, no, we didn't miss it. You know, we did it. You know, like, like I said, the reviews show, show different than what, you know, some of these other people think. I'm mm-hmm. proud of it. I'm proud of us. I'm proud of what we're putting out there for people to see. You know, people will love this movie, not because it's Louis Guzman, not because it's Asante Black, Aristotle Torres. Mm-hmm. They'll love this because it's a beautiful story, man. You could you could learn something from this. You know, it, 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 we lose so many young people every yeah. day. Yeah, yeah. We lose right. so many young people every day, you know, to violence and stuff like that. And this this movie just shows that, you know, if you have faith, you know, there's hope. Mm-hmm. There's hope for you, you know. And 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 you know, sometimes you got to go through the pain, mm-hmm. you know, to come out on top. And like I said, I'm proud, brother. You you, you saw the movie, man. Yeah. You know. Mm-hmm. It is you a beautiful know. movie, and there's a a lot of messages, a hope, redemption, forgiveness. There's there's so many things yeah. that you can take from this so from this film. But if if you have to, and it was in Spanish, si tuvieses que que decirle a la gente, o sea, por, 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 qué, por qué la gente tiene que salir este fin de semana o cuando estrene la película en Puerto Rico, a la calle, llevarse toda su familia a ver esta hermosa película y, y qué tú quieres que por lo menos una cosa se lleven de esta, de esta cinta. Que el poder que uno tiene en su corazón puede ser la diferencia en la vida de otro. Plain and simple, powerful words. So, Luis, oye, desde tu casa acá en Puerto Rico, un abrazote, mi boricua favorito en Hollywood. También te felicito por la película que hiciste con Adam Sandro, que está en Netflix ahora, buenísima también. Oh, yeah. mucho. Pero Story Avenue, gente de Metro Puerto Rico y toda la isla, vayan a verla. Gracias, Luis, te queremos y nada, Gracias, por acá pronto.